Four years ago, Women in Leadership started as an avenue for students to meet with community members. And uh, really we wanted to see what they could be, um, the path that they can take in their career. And um, four years later, now tonight we have a whole bunch of ladies here to kind of just get together and talk about the unique challenges that women face in the workplace, in different industries. So this year, the College of Communication and Information partnered up with the College of Business, College of Social Work, and the Jim Moran School of Entrepreneurship. And so as a foursome, we were really able to elevate this event to a way it hasn't been in the past. My name is Maureen Isern. I'm executive producer, founder of Moped Productions, and I'm here participating in the opening panel for the Women's Leadership Conference. To be invited to be part of it was honestly very humbling and flattering at the same time. The challenge with women who lead is a lot of times you don't realize your own impact and your own leadership ability, and so I really had a, a great time getting to know like the topics that we were going to be talking about and hearing from other women today. It's just been really inspiring and motivating for sure. Leadership is not linear. It's not a straightforward path. Anytime that you have doubt around something that you're doing, it actually means you're doing the best you can be doing because you're asking yourself for more. And so that's when you push yourself further and you learn the most and you grow and you sometimes accomplish the greatest things that you'll accomplish. My name is Nina Ashinafi Richardson. I'm one of five county court judges here in Tallahassee, and I'm a Florida State University College of Law graduate, which I'm very proud of. The audience was engaged. It was a sold out event. I was so happy to see so many women attend. I was honored to be a part of that program. We are always learning, growing, changing, we have right here in our own backyard such an amazing university to take advantage of programs like the Leadership Conference to be learning about how to be a better leader because at the end of the day my purpose is to be the best judge that I can be, to serve my community at the highest level, and to use my leadership skills towards that vein. One of the wonderful benefits of a Leadership Conference is the networking. I had an opportunity to talk with so many women that I would never have met but for this conference. The networking opportunity and to meet so many Dynamo women at all stages of their professional career or students was fabulous. But for this conference, I wouldn't have had that opportunity. I feel like they sort of, they made me feel like there's nothing wrong with looking in the mirror and saying, I am good enough to take on this big job. They made it clear that it's it's empowering and it's good to see yourself as a leader and, and not feel like, a, like being a follower is your, your path. I'm just infinitely grateful that I came to a big research institute. I am very certain that if I'd gone anywhere other than FSU, I would have never found out what I was supposed to do in life. So.